Minister for Sports Justin Chichenko and PNG Hunters Chairman Graham Osborne were present as well at the conference. David Mead arrived in the country on Monday with his wife and son Paxton. He will be out of the NRL for the next four weeks after picking up a knee injury. Today he spoke about the Pacific Test and his appointment as captain and the players he thought stood out during the match. I've um, got a bit emotional, Michael will know. Uh, pretty big honour for me to represent the country. Um, you know, live 30 minutes from town. I know the people, people of PNG love, um, in Tubusera Village, sorry. Uh, people of Papua New Guinea love their rugby league and to be able to go out and represent, you know, not only um, all of Papua New Guinea, but, you know, um, more importantly, my family. Mead also commended the PNG RFL and the work done with the Hunters. That system in place is very important, especially for the players. Coach Michael Marum says it was a win they wanted to achieve and if given the opportunity to coach the Kumuls again for the 2017 World Cup, they would have to start preparing as early as possible. Next season, and also, you know, we got some other players playing overseas. Okay, they, they're performing well and, and yeah, we have to pick the best players. Okay, those players that probably played uh, Fiji, it's not guaranteed their spot in here. Uh, no one's going to get a spot in the 2017 World Cup. There are talks of the PNG LNG Kumuls playing a friendly match between USA later this year. Here we go forward. I don't know when we're having one next. There are, there are talks about a game with USA later on in the year, but yeah. we're unsure whether it's going to happen. But that will be announced after the June 4th uh, meeting. It has taken a lot of effort from many people in a short period of time to get PNG Rugby League to where it is now. And for me as sports ministers, we've ticked that box and now it's to move on to other sports to assist them because we've got it right with rugby league. The facilities there now, the coaches, the trainers, the players, the career path, the board, it's all come back to where it should be. And we just got to make sure it never ever goes back to where it was before. Mid thanked the sponsors for their continuous support towards the Kumuls and wished the PNG men's football team and the Barmandis the best in their upcoming matches. Uh, good luck to David Muta and the PNG national soccer team in the OFC matches over the next three weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack Vare and the PNG Barramundi cricket team in their world uh, cricket 50 match against Kenya. Yep. That's this weekend. Yep. Is it? Yep. This Saturday. Yep. yep. So good luck to you boys. Uh, and on behalf of the PNG LNG Kumuls, uh, wish, we wish you all the best. Um, you know, with you all the way in doing um, our beloved PNG proud. So. Good luck to all the sports teams. Elijah Lavette, National MTV Sports.